Want to stop feeling overwhelmed about your finances? Perhaps you are suffering from analysis paralysis. Stay tuned for some ideas on how to deal with this. Let me share with you that I can easily fall prey to what I call analysis paralysis. Here's a silly example that opened my eyes to my problem. It was Saturday morning and I was at the local nursery looking at ground covers with my husband. We had a very small area of our yard that needed to be covered, but we were overwhelmed by all the options available. We could choose Creeping Speedwell, Purslane, Juniper Blue Rug, and many others we'd never heard of before. 60 minutes into our expedition, we had narrowed our choices down to three. Then another couple swooped in down our aisle, looked for one minute, and grabbed up all the trays with one of our options. Yowzers! Suddenly we decided that that ground cover that they grabbed was what we wanted. Regret! Of course, we hadn't known that a minute ago, but now we had regrets. We had been suffering from analysis paralysis. This is the trap that many of us fall into with our finances. Analysis paralysis. There is so much information out there that we feel overwhelmed. We don't understand the information. We're fearful that we are going to make a mistake and lose money. As a result, we do nothing and lose money. What can we do? Let's kiss. No, not the kind you're thinking of. What I mean is the acronym, keep it simple, stupid, or KISS. So let's keep it simple and focus on the most important financial actions. In your financial life, there are two main types of things happening. Money is coming in and money is going out. Let's talk about money coming in. Can you get more money coming in? Probably. Get a higher paying job. Negotiate a raise in your current job. Get a second job. Start a side hustle. Earn more money from any savings you have. Sell some stuff. Today, pick one of those ways of bringing more money in and start making it happen. No more researching, just doing. Tip, please subscribe to the Aspire to Money channel for more great money information. Now, let's talk about money going out. Can you cut the amount of money you have going out? Most people can. What are your minimum expenses each month? You need to keep a roof over your head and pay your utilities at a minimum. You may need a vehicle to get to work. You need a minimum amount of food. But there are ways to save on each of these items. You can move to cheaper housing. You can sell a vehicle with an expensive loan and get a cheaper vehicle. You may be able to find cheaper car insurance. You can cook from scratch at home instead of eating out. After that, most of your expenses are discretionary. You may need to severely cut back all discretionary spending, such as vacations, clothing, entertainment, restaurants, gifts, toys, hobbies, etc. Look at your credit card statements and banking statements. Are you being charged fees every month for things you don't even remember signing up for? This is what is scary about automated payments. I've been burned by the alleged convenience automatic payments before and try to avoid automatic payments as much as possible. One horror story I suffered was with a former mortgage where the mortgage processor wouldn't take me off of the automatic payment even after I had refinanced with another mortgage company. It took six months of wrangling to get that automatic payment turned off and receive a refund. Meanwhile, I was making two mortgage payments every month. Enough of that automatic simplicity for me. Today, pick one of those ways of cutting the money going out and start making it happen for you. That's it. Take one action on your money inflow and one action on your money outgo. Start taking those two actions today and start turning your finances around. Just two actions should make more money available to you and you can put that extra money straight into your bank account. You will immediately be ahead of 60% of the people in the United States if you do that. You can do it. Please like, comment, 
share, and subscribe to the Aspire to Money channel.